Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Man as a respect man. Are your girl Debbie from Dongayan? Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. 12 days of Jamas. Can you ride on over here? Let me extend a special welcome to you. Thank you so very much. Those of you who were there with me from the beginning and you're still here, right in upon this manners and respect. Now, we are going to be roasting our beef. So, we are going to be removing from camera girl. I want you to get right in upon this with them, you know. You're going to be removing your bag and you're going to be re removing your plastic wrap. Okay? Really gently. You know yes this is it right on over here we have got our oil being preheated some fresh clean oil and you know you are supposed to have your kettle right there on the boil camera perch could you shoot them up with that yes so you preheat your oil on the medium mm -hmm. and you're gonna unwrap your this was about seven hours I had it for oh my god the flavor so you're going to be removing from your plastic wrap right now gently it's so much time we wrap it for lucky in them flavor it all right and this one is the final one we are removing see still with your kitchen look at the moisture in this piece of meat camera girl could you shoot them up you're going to be putting it now on the skin this little part here not skin but this is the part you know right here moisture you're going to be putting it gently Come with me right in the pot. You're to get a scissor. That scissor. Come on, girl. Could you shoot them up? You're not going to be removing your strings until it's properly done. Okay? On that scissor right there. Okay? So, you should have removed it. You could turn it up a little more from your refrigerator and let it come back down to room temperature. Come on, girl. Just shoot them up now. Look at this. This is how we're going to be proceeding to roasting it's pot roast so you have it on fat now you're going to be covering it this is going to be roasting on the medium i don't know how much hours i don't know the nature of your meat still you can't know either so when we have finished roasting it also depends on the nature you stove some so fast and some so we are going to be roasting no browning no soy sauce to give no color it is going to stay there and take its own natural color you'll be turning it from side to side while basting it as soon as you see your hot water going down you refill and it is going to be basting from side to side while turning on every single side to get that pretty brown color it is there now and it's taking the very first part of coloring and it is also steaming through hover hot roast speed that's all we're starting on when we return, we are going to wait until our first part take the color. We are going to turn it over and we'll show you how to proceed. We soon come. Okay, now family, let's see what's happening here. Very first time we're going in. When you lift your pot cover, you, work, you need it to the side to let everything go right down in there. You're going to have a sturdy fork. So you want to lift it by turning it away from you. You're trying to get it over on the other side. Gently. Do not hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself. You know, it is, you, do you notice it starts taking its own color? Now, if you look in there, there are juices. Look at the liquid in there. These are the excess juices that is dripping from the meat. Now, as it, it's going to reach a stage where the juice stops dripping and the liquid will start drying out now when the liquid start drying out you're going to have to come back that is where this is gonna come in now your hot water because you can't throw cold water in this thing in. you're gonna be throwing I'll, I'll come back to show you a little at a time and i'll show you when you do it how you're gonna be lifting it and basting to make these two short sides here get some color because you can't get it up on them too long side you know. so it have to be these so you're gonna be using that colorful brown pretty liquid um that has derived its own brown color on its own and use it to 
based as you go along okay now you have looked at your pot rolls and you have you have completed successfully your preparation of your pot rolls now you have started to roast your beef and it looks like you have conquered it seems as if you have conquered this dish seems as if you're conquering it because the hardest part was to do the prep now at this time now you can sit you can sit now you have conquered something that is massive and anybody can cut roast beef you're almost there if you just go on the medium baste in it and i'll show you how to do it the kitchen is hot we're cooking it's time to start sipping it doesn't matter what you're sipping if you're sipping on, if the weather is cold you sip on something warm but if you apply cold on your boil up you get sipping you don't have to be drinking a lot of alcohol or all of that if you can't boil up liquor you do your thing you can get those nice little alcohol free beverages but because me that jamaica no it don't know america i'm sipping on a little sangster's rum cream and some supplement what you know about that soon come okay now family now look at it you got to be careful it's on the law you want to start using the meat to clean the pot because it's coming to the part now where you're going to need to have a little water what you're going to do now you must have your hot water ready to the side not a lot it is going to spew up so we probably have to just move our camera a bit far no more than that at a time camera girl could you catch this could you catch that camera girl now this is the color of the liquid and this is what you use to base the meat each time it dries out it dries out and you notice the color that it has so you baste it and you turn it now that you have based this side you want to use the spoon be careful for spilling to clean again basting it constantly basting it constantly now you need to turn it back over i did not turn it look at this pretty color so you'll be turning it from side to side each time the liquid dries out and you come and baste it you use the meat to clean around the pot and you pick up don't throw like a water one time and i showed you the amount and you do the same turning it from side to side until when you you do this you see none of these juices running but you're not i'll show you as we go from side to side look here we soon come back and in the interim we're still sipping soon come okay now family look at this Look at the pace at which we, we are we're we are, we are simmering down and the very first thing you will know when your pot roast is ready you will smell that nice beefy flavor one two your roast will be reduced to almost half the size of what you started number three you want to use something to squeeze it squeeze it there are no like like raw juices running from it okay nothing like that your roast is ready okay i want you now come on girl could you zoom in on this we're gonna turn our stove off i want you to look at what is inside there look at this hold on hold on family come on girl you get right in from this you know look at this richness look on this look at down in there look at the richness look at the richness of what we have in there look at it i want you to now look and you're gonna leave this you're gonna use this and just to lift it to baste it turn it around to baste it all over your pot roast is ready the beef finish roast you're gonna leave it in there for half an hour turn your flame off let everything rest and come down this is the end of part two when you see me in part three we'll be we'll be removing this remember that you did not remove your strings search for them you'll see how we use our kitchen scissors and i'll show you we'll slice 
I remember Caribbean people know them. What the same thing that they read them rare or rare me? They know if we beat Africa right through. And so we are Caribbean people. Type it in the comment section. That's how we eat. We don't do read them rare and same thing. We are Caribbean people. Our meat must be thoroughly cooked. So when we you see me next in part three, we will be removing our, 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 pot, our roast, putting it somewhere where it's supposed to be, and we'll be removing our strings. And you see that beautiful niceness here? You have to see how we are going to make. We roast beef gravy. See you in part three.